the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Gemini, in the recent past, we have Five of Swords and the Strength card. Now the Five of Swords, I'm showing that you probably had some mixed feelings. And it probably had something to do with Maybe a few people or probably life in general. So you made sure you didn't ignore these feelings. But you didn't feel like you had to speak every word you were thinking and feeling either. Because you knew it would ruin the things that you wanted the most. Such as close friends, intimate relationships. So you thought several times in the recent past before you really let someone have it. Even if you knew they deserved it. Or that's what you should have done. This Five of Swords is paired with a Strength card. Now the Strength card, it would have been important for you to probably meditate, contemplate, and spend some time alone. Even if you were in a committed relationship and had a lot of kids at that time. So, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Outward things that would have been going okay for you at that time. But, what would have been most important was keeping your head on straight at that time. Not only did you have the ability to do that, but you had the responsibility. So, you made sure to conquer any fears that came your way. Control your impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you were trying to do. Boy, that's what you probably should have done. Conquered your fears. If you were in a relationship, it was probably going really well. If you were committed to... It was likely to be a strong relationship that was mutually supportive and beneficial. So that's what we have for the recent past. There was some mixed feelings, probably about some people or maybe a situation. Or you might have felt lost in some type of competition in the recent past. And you pulled on your you pulled out your strength. And you conquered your fears with those mixed feelings. And that brought about a lot of self-love, unconditional love, and self-respect. So that's what I have for you in the recent past, June and I. Let's take a look at the present time coming up in April. We have Six of Wands, Page of Swords. Now the Six of Wands... Just know with this card, if you're in a court proceeding, or if you have a court proceeding coming up, or you're anxious about something like that, or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious with this Six of Wands coming up in your reading. This can indicate any kind of celebration. It could be a part of a graduation party coming up, or a commitment celebration, or you could be receiving some type of award. Maybe for good work that you have done. Because the Six of Wands, it can make you feel really, really good about yourself. You may start to feel as if you have a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else. Whereby adoring them is going to make you feel amazing. So... That's the Six of Wands, and it's paired with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords, sometimes it stands for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it's referring to a person who's younger than you. They could be younger than you by a few days, a few months, a few years. It's also about some type of message coming in. In this instance... It's probably not what you're hoping to hear. This page of swords, it tells us that someone could be trying too hard or pushing too fast or stepping 
on or, or, or it may feel like they're stepping on your toes or trying to so you might feel like you have to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or do not accept criticism from others you're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy coming up in April so you want to make sure you use it wisely so for the present time the six of wands and page of swords you're gonna have a lot of victory and success and the six of swords brings about recognition so you have a lot of people boosting and admiring you and you'll enjoy it you won't run from it or you won't shy away from it um, you also have probably some some immature person um, that might might make you feel like they're like I said, maybe stepping on your toes or trying to. But um, this will cause some conflict. But for the most part, you're going to have a lot of people, you know, cheering you on. As you can see in this picture, this lady, she's standing up on a podium. And she's got all these people surrounding her. And they're, you know, pushing their wands up towards her. And she's opening she's welcoming it with open arms so there's some type of victory and success that's coming in for you but then you do have this maybe an immature message coming in from maybe somebody younger and it's not going to be what you want to hear and like I said it's going to cause some conflict it could be a younger family member but uh, overall, you got this success and recognition coming in. So that's really good. Something you're doing. I don't know if you are, if you got a lot of supporters, if you're in the limelight, if you're, um, you have a lot of followers or something like that. But, um, for some reason, they're going to cheer you on and support you in a lot of ways. Um, they're going to boost you up and admire you. Yeah, but then you still got this one person that just wants to make it hard for you. So that comes with a lot of recognition. So that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at your challenge. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Now the Four of Pentacles, it's about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than it's healthy. Longer than it's realistic. It's a sign, Gemini's, that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. This Four of Pentacles, it points to anxiety and fear. As you can see, this man, he's holding on to his money, his coins, his pinnacles. He's on all fours. He's got his hands and feet on his coins. So you're clinging to something that's probably making you feel secure. The key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it will not bring security. You could be clinging too tight to a situation or a lover when you get the Four of Pentacles. So just know that true love, it allows for space between lovers. And no matter what, one can never really control another person. This Four of Pentacles is with the Knight of Wands. It's showing a great time for travel. As you can see, this man, he's on this bird. I don't know what is supposed to be a plane, but it looks like a bird. And he's up in the air and he's charging, charging forward. So you should be feeling really charged up, full of energy and ready to get a lot of things done. Your self-confidence 
is going to be increasing and you'll be reaching towards your goals. Also, this night is about messages. Messages are positive ones. They could be related to work or career, but it could go either way. Your projects, they're likely to be more successful than you would have ever expected or predicted when you get the Knight of Wands. So you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride and be happy. So for your challenge, Four of Pentacles and Knight of Wands, You're doing a lot of clinging. That's what I'm showing for a lot of Gemini's. Unhealthy clinging to something. Like I said, it could be a situation or it could be a lover. Uh, you're, you could be resistant to change with this Four of Pentacles. But then you got this fearless, brave energy. You feel like you want to come and go. And you got a lot of energy, but you can't because you're clinging on to something in an unhealthy way. Maybe maybe your finances, you're holding on to that money. Or someone's got you just um, holding on firm. Could be a relationship. But you, you got a lot of energy. You want to get away. You want to travel. You want to do things. Your confidence is increasing, but you can't. You can't. You can't do anything because you've got this unhealthy clinging. Or maybe someone is doing this to you, this unhealthy clinging, that won't let you get out and about and do the things that you want to do. So that's something that you're going to have to well, that's going to be your challenge. That's definitely a Janet challenge, especially if someone's clinging on to you this way. And you've got so much fearless, brave energy, and you're ready to charge forward with things and, and do things. Maybe travel and get away, but you can't. So, that's your challenge, Gemini. Now, let's take a look at the outcome we have Page of Cups and the Hierophant. Now, the Page of Cups is showing a need to play, dream, have fun. When this card appears in a reading, as it's appearing in yours, you're probably taking yourself too serious. You probably heard the saying that the one thing that you've learned over the years is the difference between taking your work serious and taking yourself serious. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So, Page of Cups is with the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life, and you're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important issues or matters, their empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So, Gemini, this could be you, or it could be someone coming towards you like this. This person, they'll be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher, marked by integrity. They are the genuine article. They're a true blue, highly admired individuals. They walk the walk and they talk the talk. They stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, when the Hierophant talks about love and relationships, and if you're asking a question about how your partner is feeling, just know that they love you very deeply. And it's a love that cannot be broken. So your outcome, Page of Cups and the Hierophant. Someone could be encouraging you to loosen up. Open your heart. Open your heart up. Um, enjoy some intimacy. Someone could be doing this. Encouraging you to dream. Mm. But, um, it seems like you're probably more focused on your morals and being ethical and traditional. 
Um, but someone wants you to to step out on the other side <laughs> and just loosen up and have some fun. But right now, you, it seems like you're feeling probably more spiritual for some of you Gemini's. But then, like I said, you got this, uh, this page is usually a younger person. Someone maybe younger than you. Could be your, your children. They just want you to maybe um, have some fun and um, give them some playtime. Could be your children. Or maybe it's your spouse or, or significant other. They just want you to open your heart. But like I said... For some reason, you might feel like searching for the meaning of life at this time. So you, you're probably a little more serious than your person or people want you to be at this time. So that's quite interesting. So that's pretty much your reading for April. Um, pretty, pretty basic, actually. Um... I guess the best thing here that I see is for the present time, you're going to be victorious about something. It could be a situation. It could be victorious with a person, a lover. Um, and a lot of people will, will root you on and cheer you on. Some type of victory and success. And... Um... Somebody wants you to come out and play because you just you've probably been just taking yourself too serious and you're trying to go down a different path, a more spiritual path. So, pretty simple reading for Aries. And so nothing, nothing too, too frightening, which is good. So, I want to thank you so much for watching, watching watching watching